Houston from thedeliciousrevolution.com and I have just returned from Turquoise Coffee on Cass Street here in Pacific Beach. They are the local drop-off location for the Tierra Miguel Farms Community Supported Agriculture of which I am a part, as you know by now. I have been uh, opening up the uh, CSA share box and showing you what's inside each week and giving you some recipes so that none of your produce go to goes to uh, waste and that you can try everything in maybe some new different ways. Now, the boxes are relatively similar uh, month to month. So instead of doing a weekly um, explanation of how you can use the produce in the box, I'm gonna switch that to twice a month. So we will do it every other week, uh, this week and then two weeks again from now and we'll go on through the spring and summer that way. Um, if you ever get stuck and you don't know how to use something, please feel free to log on to thedeliciousrevolution.com. There is a whole huge recipe page there uh, that can give you a lot of ideas but again if you get stuck just use the contact uh, page and email me and ask me a question let me know what you've got going on uh, let me know what recipes work and don't work and uh, yeah let's stay in the conversation together and uh, enjoy all this yummy food that our local organic farmers are making for us so let's jump right into today's box a lot of things that we've seen before, so I know you guys are already pros at making most of this food, um, but there's a couple of things that we haven't seen harvested yet this year. Uh, one of them being the parsnips, and uh, parsnips look like white carrots, but they don't taste like carrots at all. They have a different texture and a different taste. You'll find a lot of recipes online for uh, baked varieties of this, or, or baked recipes for this. I would like to share with you a raw food recipe. Uh, it's called cranberry dill rice. It's not actually rice. Um, it is a raw food version of a rice dish that I, uh, I still love to make occasionally with brown rice, but my preferred variety or my preferred version is um, using the, the parsnips. I just mince them in a food processor and they look like rice and they absorb the flavor of the marinade uh, just like a rice would. I think even better. Uh, and it's an amazing, delicious, um, uh, delicious recipe. And it will also incorporate some of the dill and it will incorporate some of the onion. Now that brings us to the onion, which uh, we haven't seen this harvested yet th uh, this year either. Uh, these are little baby red onions and you can use them just like chives or like green onions. They're gonna be a little bit stronger, especially at the very root. I personally love the flavor and I love the little blast of color that the purple gives. Um, so I'm gonna use some of that in the uh, in the mock rice dish that we'll use with the um, with the parsnips. But with the rest of them, I am going to make some mock sushi. Again, this is a raw food dish that mocks a, a conventional dish and there's no fish harmed in the making of raw food sushi. It's totally vegan uh, recipe. I'm gonna use some onion, some of the miner's lettuce, and some of the cilantro to make a raw food version of a spicy tuna roll. Um, again, there's no tuna harmed, so we're gonna use dulse flakes, which are immensely good for you, full of minerals that are hard to find in a lot of other foods. Um, we're gonna use that to flavor a, uh, a base made of sesame seeds, oddly enough. It ends up tasting great, you'll have to give it a try. It's an easy raw food dish to make if you haven't dabbled in raw cuisine because you don't have to soak or sprout anything, you don't need a dehydrator, and that's also true for the, um, the cranberry dill rice dish that you can mock with the parsnips. So definitely give both of those a try. Um, with the beets, Maverick, my little son, has been requesting what he calls candy juice. That is the ginger apple beet juice, and I guess the sweetness of the apples and the little tang from the ginger um, make him think that it's candy, so I love it. <laughs> he, um, he'll drink that any time of day, and I love that he gets the live phytonutrients in the beets that are otherwise destroyed when they're cooked. So whenever I can get him to drink that, that's great. Um, the carrots will most likely get eaten raw yet again uh, this week before they can be transformed into any recipe. However, I'm going to attempt to take some uh, red or purple cabbage and uh, um, make a marinated dish with some shredded carrot and some shredded cabbage. Uh, you can use uh, Savoy cabbage or white or purple cabbage, either one, and chop it up into a thin noodle to make a marinated Asian salad. 
lovely to have that in the fridge. Not only does it taste great the second and third day as the root vegetables and the cabbage um, soften in the marinade, it's also a great thing to roll into a quick dish to take with you to work or on a picnic. Um, you use a rice paper wrapper, you throw, maybe if you eat tofu, you can throw a slab of tofu in there and some of the marinated uh, Asian salad and roll it up. And if you have time to make some peanut sauce, which the recipe is on the site as well, that makes a great addition and a delicious quick food. You'll also use some of the cilantro in that too. Um, for the rosemary, I'm gonna suggest that you go back and try the garlic rosemary flax crackers if you didn't try those. Those are a delicious, gluten-free, easy to make cracker. Um, one of the things that a lot of people miss when they're transitioning to a high raw diet or just trying to get away from a lot of processed breads and crackers is the crunch from you know the good old fashioned Ritz or Triscuit that everybody grew up on. And that can satisfy that craving and it fills your need for the uh, healthy omega-3s that you get from eating flax seeds. So I just love incorporating those crackers into my diet and my family's diet. Mm -hmm. um, with the spinach, we will definitely do a Greek uh, salad again because my family absolutely loves that. Uh, with the chard, I will do a new refreshing juice that I've been drinking a lot of lately since I started creating uh, my next book, which is Fresh Start, a three-day juice feast. And um, that is a pineapple. Uh, chard, this yellow chard is perfect for it. So pineapple, chard, cilantro, and ginger. And if you have a cucumber, it's great to throw a cucumber in there too. It's great for your skin and it adds a delicious, uh, refreshing touch to the beverage too. So again, that's gonna be the yellow chard with some cilantro, some pineapple, some ginger, and a cucumber. And did I miss anything in here? I think we got everything. Yeah, the miner's lettuce, we're gonna use that in the sushi rolls. Yeah, so this is great. Tierra Miguel Farms is doing a bang up job. I am so glad that you guys are out of the mud and muck and back on track because I missed you guys when the box didn't uh, didn't arrive that week. I definitely felt a little hole in my culinary life. And I know you guys have had the Jewish students out there this week and I think that's awesome. I hope they're having a great time out there. So all of you out at Tierra Miguel Farms, thank you so very, very much. And to all of you who have been following the recipes and contributing your ideas via email and on the Facebook fan page. I want to thank you very much for staying in the healthy food conversation with me. I am Joy Houston. Looking forward to seeing you again in two weeks with the CSA box here on the deliciousrevolution.com.